today on the Bearded Movie Guy. Bearded Movie Guy looks at Manhunter. Yeah. There's, this is going to be interesting because there's a bunch of stuff that goes along with this. So just stick, stick with me and you'll, you'll find out. Brought to you by the Bearded Movie Guy. Hi, the Bearded Movie Guy. Today I'm talking about Manhunter. Manhunter is a 1986 film directed by Michael Mann. Based on the Thomas Harris novel. Now, Thomas Harris wrote Sansa Lambs and all those other things. And... Uh, this is interesting because uh, this is going to be a different kind of review. This is a review of Manhunter, it is. But this is a setup because for the next four weeks after you see this review on Thursdays, um, me and my friends Brian Lomax from Brian Lomax Movie Talk, CP from Well Leg like Reviews, and Lee from Drum Dums are going to be doing commentaries, live commentaries on th every Thursday night on the next four movies of the series. Now, one of those movies is Red Dragon, which is the same as Manhunter, but it's like differently done, but it's... So this is Manhunter, and this just to get you a little prep preview of what that's going to look like. And we're going to be doing it on each other's channels. So one on Brian's channel, one on CP's channel, one on Lee's channel, and one on my channel. And it, it's live commentary, so it's like what we do is all four of us on Google Hangout, you can watch and you can comment. We tell you when to queue up the movie and if you want to watch along with us you can queue up the movie and hit play at the same time us and we will literally talk about the movie as it's going on the scenes the direction and all the kind of stuff you'd get on commentary with all the four of us and um yeah it's sometimes it's very entertaining sometimes it's very technical and um quite often i talk too much it's it's just the way it is so manhunter is the beginning of all that manhunter is like you know hannibal lecter from sansa lambs this was the first scene first time hannibal lecter ever appeared on screen it wasn't with anthony hopkins it was with brian cox but what's this this story is about is about the red dragon it's about this guy who's killing families they bring a a, a profiler who caught hannibal lecter the first time which you never see but he caught hannibal lecter and locked him up, um, named Will Graham, out of retirement, basically. It messed him up. Catching Lecter actually messed the guy up, like, in the head. And he's got a wife and son, and he quit being an FBI profiler. He's like, I can't do this anymore. But this new guy's killing people, and they're like, we need him back. And so he reluctantly comes back for this one-time case. And you probably know the guy who plays him as, his name's William Peterson. He's uh, from, from CSI. He played Grissom. I believe it was him. He's a good actor. Really good actor. And uh, Brian Cox, like I said, plays Hannibal Lecter. And there's a bunch of other really good actors in this film. And basically it's a story of how they're trying to catch this new guy. And he actually goes back and talks to Hannibal Lecter to try and get a refresher and try and see where his mindset's at. And find they find out that the, Hannibal Lecter and this guy are actually in contact with each other. Even though Hannibal Lecter's in jail and really doesn't have contact with anybody, he's found a way to do it. So it's all about trying to catch him. Now... It's it's a good movie, but it's kind of very. It comes off as made for TV. It it really does. It it comes off as a really good made for TV movie, and I can see why they kind of decided to remake it on some level and as Red Dragon with a different cast and Hannibal Lecter. But it is solid. It is interesting. It's good, and um, it's a little stylized, like the set design. Like Hannibal Lecter's cell and everything around it is all white. And I mean stark white. And keeping that clean would be impossible. Just on, on a physical level. They did it for aesthetic value and stuff, but it's just unrealistic. Plus I've seen those places, it's not nearly as white as that. It, I, I get where they did it and stuff. But it, it was in the 80s too, so you know. People just assumed, oh yeah, that's what it would look like. Overall, it's a really solid film. I enjoyed it. It's beginning to the Hannibal Lecter series, so if you've never seen it, I, I would highly recommend checking it out, give it a chance. And um, I give it 3.5 beards out of 5. It's it's really worth the watch. It was remade as Red Dragon, like I said, with a, with a really like high-profile cast, like Ed Norton and... and uh, I can't remember who else other than Anthony Hopkins, but there's a bunch of really good actors in there. But, so, check out Manhunter, or not, it's up to you. And um, for the next four Thursdays, on I, I will be letting you know, check on my Facebook and check on Twitter. I'll be letting you know which channels we're going to. And on one of those, it's going to be me. So we're going to do Sound of the Lambs, and then I believe it's Hannibal, then Red Dragon, then Young Hannibal, or Hannibal Rising, I think it's called. Unfortunately, I get that one. It's like a prequel. 
but you know, whatever. It's the four of us talking. If you like the four of us, cool. If you don't know who those people are, you really need to see them. They're really good people. Check their channels out. Like I said, Brian Lomax Movie Talk, Will Like It Reviews, Drum Dumbs. All, or four, or three, because I'm, I'm, I'm the fourth. Three of my favorite people on YouTube. And I love hanging out with these guys and talking about very knowledgeable guys, very passionate, and very fun. So, yeah, check out our channels over the next couple weeks, and um, thanks for watching. Till next time, stay bearded. You've been watching the Bear Movie Guy talking about Manhunter, which is leading up to Sons of Lambs. Yeah. Those lambs need to stop. They just give me a headache. Yeah. Subscribe and tell your friends and watch on Thursdays. And as always, your top Sephiroth.